morning it is monday um i got a busy one today i'm gonna be out of the store a decent amount today we're starting this morning with a little install at a church here in town um just a small church uh nothing too in depth nothing too high tech smaller congregation so uh they don't need much so we're just gonna make what they have a little bit better um i'll show you what we got in the back i'm gonna be there first then i gotta go look at another church for a possible install then i gotta stop at a school and drop off some stuff and later this afternoon i have to go to another school to look at their PA system and make sure it's ready to go for their it to be spring play. So a lot to do outside the shop today. I'll take you guys with me and uh, yeah, first stop the hardware store. So before we hit the hardware store, I thought I'd show you guys real quick what I got back here in the back of the truck. Got a couple Mackie thumps, a couple, they're just power speakers, a gooseneck mic for the church's podium, my tools. Got to grab a couple cables from the hardware store and uh, we're off. Here we are, local hardware store called uh, Handyman Hardware. It's like 30 seconds from our store, but uh, got a lot of stuff, like a lot of usable stuff, like your typical small town hardware store. So uh, I need some cables just to wrap this job up. So I'm gonna run in there and grab those now. Hopefully I'll have everything and then uh, get over to this church, which is literally right over there. So this is an easy one today. It's nice to do one right in your backyard. Like my house is right up there too. So like if I forgot anything or need anything, like the store is there, the hardware store is there, my house is there, the church is there like this is a good one today so uh hoping to get in and out we got a busy day so here's the church we're at today a little community church like i said just needed a couple speakers i'll show you real quick then we're getting out of here on to the next stop so there we go just replaced a couple really old passive speakers they had with some mackie thumps be perfect for this they have their old mackie mixer up there still works just fine installed uh it's kind of hard to see but gooseneck mic on the podium out there for the pulpit and uh yeah good to go off to the school drop off and to the other church next hey so i just wrapped up inside the school school's not been to two churches today two schools today fixed the pa system at the school for their play i might have to go back figured out what their problems were got those straightened out uh, i thought about trying to show you guys but i didn't know how they'd feel about like some strange dude like recording in the school while like kids were performing a play so yeah it's been a day i've been everywhere two churches two schools yeah what a day uh it's monday it's a good way to start the week so uh tj and connor probably taking care of business back in the store and uh yeah that's that that's monday see you tomorrow be out at the eastwood mall store good morning it's monday march 4th just got in literally just walked through the door i've got coffee here from duncan rob is on some consults um he should be back at some point so and then he's got some other stuff he's got to do later on today i know that we're gonna go turn the lights on and get the day started so let's go All right, we got all the lights on. Let's kick some music on, get the door open, and start the day. So we'll talk in a bit. All right, it's the end of the night, Friday, 7.15. We just wrapped up. I've got a couple things to wrap up back here. We had a busy day, so I wasn't able to do any kind of midday updates or anything. We had a we had a busy day, so I wasn't able to do any kind of midday updates or anything. So, but we had a busy day. It was a good day. I got rentals done. Connor got some inventory taken care of. Overall, it was a it was a good day. So, Rob will catch you guys tomorrow. I will see you guys on Wednesday. Hey, it is Tuesday morning. Um, sunny day in Ohio, so we'll take it. It's gonna be like 70. I'm in the back room like usual. I got some stuff to take out to the mall. I'm not gonna show you me loading up today because I did a pretty comprehensive one uh, last week and it's certainly not your first time seeing me. But yeah, we load the stuff up here in Hubbard. We take it to the mall, that's what I'm doing now. Then we'll be out of the mall. We got Anthony will be there today. So uh, sure we'll get into some kind of trouble with him. So yeah, Tuesday, heading to the mall, let's go. We're, yeah, we're you get me every single time, man, when I'm just like right What are you music, working on? Doing some scheduling stuff, moving around the books and stuff, just seeing what's up, seeing how we can. What have you been doing today? Uh, Today, cleaned our lesson room for the kids. You know, it's that time of year. Do it for the kids. Do it for the kids because it's that time of year uh, where Ohio doesn't know what weather it wants to be. So we get sick pretty easy. It's a lot, a lot of fun, good times, you know, passing germs and stuff. 
So we try and keep things wiped down and cleaned up in between. Got some stuff swept up. Keeping the last room nice and tidy. You know what I'm saying? What you, it's what you, you gotta do what you gotta do. You what know? about your cups? Have you left any like random cups anywhere um, I think the store? As far as today goes, outside of that one that I'm still drinking out of. Let's see if let, let's see if I'm this talented. There it is. So that cup sitting there now, it'll be sitting there still tomorrow. No, it won't. And the day after. I can redeem myself. Um, so yeah, if you see one of his cups in the background of the videos, comment down below. what you do this time? Anthony's cup. I hate it here. Um, he loves it here. <laughs> so yeah, Anthony's working on scheduling. Uh, I'm working on ordering. I'm working on a uh, minor order that's been, it's a carryover from last week. Mm -hmm. A zildjian order, it's a carryover from last week. And uh, yeah, just keeping things flowing got some update lit video update on lessons and stuff yeah. too. we're gonna be doing that this week so we'll have that be on the lookout for that that should be out in the next a week or so for you to watch yeah uh keep watching like and subscribe so you can hear his lesson info absolutely and see these two and follow places. his cups and <laughs> I'm, I'm out of here i'm done i'm not doing this anymore <laughs> he always comes back <laughs> Um, I was mean, you can't come in today? So yeah, we're just watching Anthony talk on the Sweet. phone um, and schedule would lessons you today. Would you want to keep today's slot from Without him nine, or would you want to come in earlier? I have... Okay. Doing what he does best. Four to five works for you? Scheduling lessons. Sweet. So today's turning into order day as I'm uh, going through the store seeing some other stuff we need. Nothing desperate, but better to get ahead of it than behind it because if you have it in stock, that's good for the customer. So uh, I'm working on a little bit of, could see some empty hooks here, could use some windscreens, a few mic clips. We usually carry more than that. So, so I place, I'm gonna place a little order with a company called The Music People. So really cool guy, An another cool sales guy named Ed. Um, but yeah, we're gonna order some stuff from him. That's where all that on stage stands stuff comes from. So fill some holes over there. Cable wise, our cable wall does not look too bad. Got a lot of cables, but I could see some are getting thin. So get some ordered so we don't run out. So I'm working on a cable order. I'm gonna order Rapco. So Rapco. So really great cable brand. We carry a lot of their stuff, a lot of Rapco stuff. So we're gonna get some Rapco cables on order. JJ will be in any minute. We'll see what he's up to. Check in with him real quick. Hand the reins over to him. Hope he doesn't burn the place down. So yeah, we got JJ coming in next. morning so it's a uh, wednesday morning and we're gonna start it in the back room which we don't typically do we usually only get started in the back room on a tuesday or a thursday but as you can see the bathroom's open so how i started my day today was the toilet was broke not clogged not it, just, it was broke the guts in the tank went bad they don't last forever so we had to replace it i did it this ain't the guitar center we do our own work here we fix the toilets we clean the toilets so uh yeah some behind the scenes there some bathroom work to start it's all fixed um now i'm gonna make some coffee and then uh, i got some ordering i need to do today i'm going on vacation next week my family and I are big fans of Walt Disney World, so we'll be there next week. Trying to finish up all the stuff that needs done before I leave, so everything keeps running smoothly when I'm gone. And uh, yes, I got a couple orders I gotta finish up. And then later today, we have Korg coming in. Our sales rep from Korg's coming in. He's bringing the product specialist, which will be super cool. If you guys don't know, Korg distributes, I mean, obviously Korg, but also um, Blackstar and Vox, among other things. So uh, looking forward to talking Blackstar and Vox today, seeing what they have to show us. They'll be here later. Maybe we'll try to catch you guys in on some stuff. And uh, yeah, that's what's happening this morning. Waiting for TJ to come in and get things going. We'll check back in. So that's what we do sometimes. Sales guys come in and talk to us. They bring in stuff for us to check out, new stuff. We don't get a, a lot of product specialists, so that was pretty cool. But uh, yeah, they guys come in from different companies, train us on stuff, show us new stuff. It's always fun to learn about new stuff or things we didn't know. But what do you think, TJ? You're kind of newer to those trainings. I like them. I like when those guys come in. Yeah, I, I, I like when the, the sales guys come in because you know they, they give us information that we may have not known before. And we get to talk to them. Yeah, and we get to pass it on to you. So they show us stuff, they train us stuff, we show you, we train you. So the circle of life. I can't sing that. You should try. Nope, because that's 
Disney. Yeah. And the that Lion King. Will get us sued for sure. Um. So yeah, we'll try to show you guys uh more often when those kind of things happen. We're gonna try to have more of those trainings. We had Sure in a few weeks ago or we months sure ago. did. Um, but Sure is planning on coming back. Um. Yeah, we'll get we'll get some other people in here. So there you go. Cord was here. You saw it here. Morning. It's Thursday. Just got the uh, gate opened up here at the mall. Just getting the day started. So I still have a few more orders to finish. I'm going on vacation next week. So uh, I got to make sure stuff keeps coming in and the shelves don't go barren while I'm gone. So that's the plan for today. Yeah, we'll see what's happening. I'll keep checking in with you guys. I'm going to finish ordering. Let's see. What am I ordering today? Rapco cables. I started that the other day. I'm going to finish that up. I got to order string joy strings. If you haven't tried the string joy strings, they're great we just started carrying them and they're selling quick so i need to order more uh really great string um maybe didario maybe ultimate stands i'm gonna just check and see what we got and see how much i can get done so i'm gonna park myself let's go back here i mean back behind the counter here get to my perch got my notebook coffee computer so yeah we'll get started i'll keep checking in with you I'll let you know how the day is going we'll see tj here in a few hours so all right Hey, so uh, a lot of progress on orders so far. I'm ordered Stringjoy and submitted uh, Ernie Ball done submitted. I think I'm gonna work on Didario next. So we don't need much. We have a special order for uh, some electric 12 string sets. So I've got to get that order, get that to the customer. And in the meantime, we'll fill in some holes. Uh, maybe I'll take on a quick walk around because I always think it might be interesting to you guys to know what we get from Didario because it's not just strings. So let's take a walk through the store and talk Diderio. So Diderio, the obvious strings. Diderio sells and distributes their own strings. Uh, by the way, I'm a big fan of these XS electrics currently. Really great code of strings. My personal opinion, maybe a hot take. Check those out, the white package. Um, yeah, Diderio strings, bass strings, acoustic strings. Um, what else comes from Diderio? We'll just circle the store. There's a lot of stuff. Stop right here. So anything Planet Waves comes from Didaria. So capos, winders, batteries, humidifiers, anything Planet Waves, Didaria. Let's keep going. Uh, we don't do a ton of their cables. We do do some, but they do a cable. But here's where it's about to get weird. So you see cymbals getting into that their drum section. Oh, hold on. One too far. Stop here. Evans. Didaria owns Evans. So anything Evans comes from Didario. Surprise, surprise. Let's see what else. Promark drumsticks. So Didario owns Promark. So yeah, Promark is owned by Didario. When we order them, we can get Didario strings, Evans drum heads, Promark drumsticks. Pretty cool. The plot thickens. Reeds. They own a lot of reed companies. We only do Rico and Rico Royal, not Van Doren. So Didera also owns reeds. So they also do uh, like court grease and common stuff like that. Uh, reed guards, things to clean your instrument with. So yeah, didera has got it covered from band instruments to drums all the way to strings and probably a bunch of other stuff I'm forgetting. So yeah, didera has got it going on. A lot of stuff coming from those guys. Bet you didn't know about those. So you know what I'm doing now? Nothing. The internet's down. Um, yeah, so I'm doing nothing. Uh, no customers in here right now. None of my ordering, nothing could be done because the internet's down, that's where we're at. But it got me thinking, I came to work here at Hubbard Music in two, I just had to check because I forget all the time, 2006. Let me tell you about 2006. We had computers. I think we had three computers at our store in Hubbard. There was no store here at the mall back then, just a the store and Hubbard, three computers. One of them was the owners and his was the only computer with the internet on it. So like that, that was it. That's how we operated. There were like catalogs and price guides and uh, brochures from companies. And that's what we look through. We never do that now. We use the internet or our phones. Uh, likewise, no one had like smartphones back then. Like we had like flip phones. Yeah, it was, it was a different time. A lot more talking on the phone back then, calling salespeople, getting information. If a customer came in and told us they saw something online, we literally had to like go use the boss's computer to look it up. So much different time back then than now, except right now I'm kind of reliving that 2006 time minus the boss's computer. I got no internet. So uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. 
We're living uh, no internet right now. If I get real desperate, I guess I could use my phone. I can still bring customers out and uh, yeah, living like it's 2006. Hey. Uh, <laughs> I'm about to leave. And I just got here. Handing the torch to this guy for the rest of the day here. You got big plans? I'm gonna make the store look pretty somehow. Yeah. Some displays would be cool. Maybe take some uh, social media footage, content, pictures, videos. We'll see. So he's taking over. He'll show you what he's doing today. He'll keep you up to date. And there you go. And that's it. Not There's really, gonna be more than that. Not, that's it for now. Not really much to it right now. That's it for now. All right, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Hey, so uh, it's 8.30. I actually haven't been able to film anything because I've been fairly busy today. So I'm gonna get off of this chair. So um, yeah, if I wasn't, I was posting stuff on Reverb. I wasn't doing that. I had plenty of people in, so um, didn't have much inventory to do because Rob did it. So kind of thankful for that, but wish I had something to do. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I, I, I listed some stuff on Reverb, guitars and some accessory stuff. So uh, humidifiers are filled, um, I'm gonna balance the drawer and I'm gonna get out of here. So um, that'll wrap up tonight. Uh, don't got much for you right now, so. That'll do it, so I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. It's Friday morning. I just got to the store. Let's see what Rob's doing. Because you got some some nice, smooth songs going. I'm not really in a dancing mood. No? No, the gate's still not up at the mall. We're oh, locked yeah. out of the, we, our gate at the mall won't go up. So we're not even open. It's been an hour and the store is not open. So. I bet JJ 10 bucks uh, if he could get a guitar sale through the gate. But then I had to clarify like while the gate is closed because he'd find a way to like loophole it. Like, oh, you said through the gate. Yeah. And they went through the gate. So hopefully, hopefully they'll figure out a solution quick. Yeah. Also, I'm going out there with a floor jack. <laughs> I don't know how I'm getting it back down, but. That's a problem for Brian tonight. Good Friday morning. And coffee? Coffee's anything that'll make me feel better. Yeah, let's go get some coffee. What'd you get? I get every time. Salted Salt, caramel. Salted caramel. Iced. Oh, that's me. Iced madness. I got it. whatever that is. What did I get? Double and Diddy? Yeah. Vanilla bean, Irish cream, and coffee syrup. This I'm is Irish. a horrible angle for me. I'm Irish. Kiss me, I'm Irish. <laughs> All right, we'll be back. We'll talk in a minute. All right, so that's the end of the week, the end of Friday. Uh, it was a pretty good day today, so we got a bunch of stuff done. Went and got coffee earlier. That was good, and um, yeah, not much to it, so uh, we'll see you guys next week. Captain's Log, star date 69420. We're back here at the uh, Eastwood Mall. We're here with uh, Master Gilligan. He's gonna show you how to properly tune a 12 string. How y'all doing? Uh, so, you know, you can check them first. You wanna make sure they're all sounding pretty nice. You know, that's pretty, that's pretty good. And then, you know, you're bound to get one that's like that. So, you can try and figure it out. I think that's pretty close. But instead, we're just gonna, when you get to a trouble spot, you just hang it back up and then you just grab a six string and play like a normal person. That, that's it, play like a normal person, okay? This isn't, we're in Northeast Ohio. We don't know anything about 12 strings. <laughs>